I do need to let you guys know that this trip to CES was sponsored by Corsair and Elgato. This is the day before CES, so I can't tell you what they have coming, but they have some really cool announcements that we'll be covering tomorrow, Monday, the first day-ish of CES, that I'm very excited to tell you about. But super shout out to Corsair and Elgato, Elgato Gaming, for sending us to CES. So this is day one of my CES travel vlogs. Don't know how much I'll be able to keep up with these, but I wanted to share some stuff. I had a little bit of time to edit and share my experiences because I had to travel from Indiana all the way over to Las Vegas, Nevada, which when you count layovers and stuff was about eight or nine hours of travel. I had to get up at 6 a.m. I don't do well with flights and I flew United this time for my flight out there. The flights were insanely cramped. I have never experienced so much leg and hip pain on a flight before. I will be going with upgraded seats from now on. And I wanted to get some cool time lapses because honestly I've never paid it, you know, been to the desert. I've never flown over it or anything. It's pretty crazy looking, looking out the window, but I couldn't get a whole lot of footage of it, unfortunately, but it's definitely pretty cool. Uh, however, I've learned a couple of things here, starting with my own hotel room. It was the moment that I walked through this door that I realized I made a grave mistake when buying or ordering my hotel room. We went from the door to the bar, which has a TV, bar, about as many cabinets as my apartment has. Mini fridge, full of sodas that are probably 50 bucks a pop. Coffee maker, sink, ashtray because today I learned you can still smoke indoors in Vegas. My lungs are not appreciating that. This is the bar. And now we have the common room. Two couches. Not one, two. These couches look like something my great grandmother would have had. They're not doing so hot. You know, classic retro vibe. We have a living room with two couches. TV number two. Keep track with me, okay? That's two TVs so far. So two couches, two TVs, a bar. And then we have the dining room. There's a giant freaking dining table. Okay. Then we go into the next room in my hotel room. I don't have the lights on. There we go. King size bed, as I wanted. And TV number three. Also, this is really hard to do. Nightstand, nightstand, dresser with like 50 drawers. Keep walking along. There's a little desk. Pretty beefy closet, standard stuff. And then we have the bathroom with the giant jacuzzi. Closed up toilet room, stand up shower. Oh, and you might have noticed that's TV number four. So I was wondering why my hotel was so expensive because prices did skyrocket after Christmas and I didn't get paid until right before Christmas so I couldn't order yet. But I ordered what was the default, what seemed to be just a cheapo room, we're not even staying on the strip, hotel room here at this casino hotel thing for CES with a king size bed. Didn't think anything of it. I am on the, tw the, the top floor of this building. 
and I have all of this. The amount of cabinet space in the kitchenette and the dresser space and all of that doesn't even make sense given that this is at most a two-person room. They clearly know you're gonna have parties or stay here for like a week. I don't know. You can't really see anything out there. We have a semi-decent view. It was also requested that I do a what's in my bag video for CES, at least for float plane people as you're seeing here. And honestly, when I got to the hotel, I was with people and I needed to go ahead and unload stuff. So you're not getting much of this, but I wanted to show you what I brought and the flaws in my plan so far already. So my only laptop capable of video editing is my EVGA SC15 gaming laptop, which is 17 inches, weighs like at least five pounds and barely fits in the biggest backpack I had. And that's not even the one I wanted to bring. So I brought that and it's power brick so I could edit. Some decent headphones for editing, of course, 58X, just got those in. I brought USB-C SSD for putting footage on because there's not gonna be a ton of storage in here and this will edit faster than the spinning hard drive in there. And then for camera gear, we have here the Sony A7S II. I just picked this up for another project and it just happened to be good timing that I brought it here. It has a small rig cage with a top handle. That is a kit 28 to 70 millimeter f3.5 to 5.6 or something lens, which is still gonna do pretty good. It's still plenty sharp and the low light performance on this camera is actually pretty good. And currently hooked up to it, I have the Avermedia live stream mic, ironically enough. It's a tiny shotgun mic, but it actually sounds stupidly good when you're up close on it. So I have that for just shooting stuff for me, but this camera does not have a flip out screen and I don't even have a tripod with me. So shooting videos of myself is about to get real weird. I also brought my GoPro Hero 6. I believe that's what this is. Now I brought this for a few different things. B cam. I got a suction cup so I could get some time lapses of the airplane, except it keeps falling off. <laughs> Just keeps falling out the window, so that was useless. And I also have this really cool backpack strap so I can get just walking around footage hands-free without needing a whole lot of work. So I have two cameras, minimal production value. And then for another set of audio, I have the Rode Link wireless lav kit with a Sennheiser mic hooked up to it, the other one's in here. That I was planning on using, but I wasn't sure how well the wireless will work on the show floor. And then I brought my Kingston this has been with me for ages, card reader for SD, micro SD, CF if I need it, but mainly SD and micro. I brought those Xiaomi uh, wireless earbuds that I've yet to actually use other than testing, but I brought them with me in case I need audio from my phone. Nintendo Switch with eight games, nine games, plus all the download games. So I'm Pokemon Shield in the Switch right now. And then I brought Celeste, River City Girls, Time Spinner, Travis Strikes Again, No More Heroes, Pokemon Tournament, Axiom Burge, Dead Cells, and Dimension Drive. I've barely played any of my Switch games, and it's so addictive to collect for that I really should be playing more. So, hotel time is hopefully going to be Switch time. Brought lots of cables and accessories. I brought SD cards. Two beefy boy battery banks like six batteries for my Sony camera. I ended up with way more than I expected. So bringing those with me just in case. So I have power for everything. And then I actually do have a backup audio solution in my suitcase that I haven't unpacked yet. So I guess I'll go ahead and get that out. Also, I needed a small notebook. And I didn't have any more readily available. So just in case I need to take notes, I have my Final Fantasy 14 online notepad that is completely empty, and I hate to use something like this, but I'm gonna use it eventually. This is from before A Realm Reborn, so this is, or Realm, however they called it, the re-release of it. This is the original release of the game from one of the collector's editions. Picked that up when I worked at GameStop. So I've got chargers and power cables galore. I've got the Samson Q2U microphone with the Mix Pre 3.2. Uh, as a backup field audio solution in case wireless stuff doesn't work, I have a handheld. I doubt I'll be using this since I can't record myself this way in case the people I'm coming with can record. I don't know yet. And then if I need a point light, I have the Aperture ALMW. And this is pretty much my recording kit. Also, I got sent this forever ago for review and just never reviewed it. 
that this little Saouki charger lets me plug in six USB devices and charge them all at the same time. And makes it super easy to manage everything. So this was a really good you know, thing to come in handy for this trip where I have everything that charges off a of USB these days. Now it's kind of funny walking through the uh, the actual casino because it's like a giant arcade, except all the games are boring and full of loot boxes. <laughs> Terrible gameplay. Cool graphics, lots of cool tech on display, but you know, not real video games, and that's unfortunate. But that's fine. Now I do wish I would have brought some sort of selfie stick, like the I was supposed to bring the Switch Pod. I have that. Caleb Waljek put that out. Great little selfie tripod thing. I was supposed to bring that. I didn't. Didn't bring any sort of tripod or monopod, so everything's going to be handheld and that's going to suck. So I regret that deeply. Um, otherwise, things are going pretty good so far. So I'm excited. The actual show stuff, well, my meetings start tomorrow and the coverage that I will be doing formally starts tomorrow. So we'll see. In the meantime, I'm gonna take a Witcher-style bath in the giant jacuzzi and try to get rid of these muscle cramps. And yeah, I'm just super stoked to see what is in store this year. I This is my first CES. It's all very overwhelming and I haven't even gotten to the actual show stuff yet, but I already got my media badge, ready to rock. I'm excited. So, hope to see you in day two where we have actual coverage. I just wanted to put this together, it had been requested, so. Look forward to some recap videos, at least. I'm, I'm aiming for one video a day if I can get more cool, but I'm not going to push it.